Hi, Rob, by the way. Hey, everyone. I'm your host, Charlie Matthews, and I am the host of a lot of things, actually. But we'll talk today about the Empowering Industry Podcast and my fellow podcasters. We're really celebrating. It's podcast day. Anytime there's a social media day, we can, I mean, I love to celebrate any day, but podcast day, we get to bring in all these amazing fellow podcasters that create content and just, yeah, I'm just excited to be here with all of you. I, I like to follow you. I like to listen to your podcast, but it's even better when we're like, I can see your faces. So thanks for being here. And look, James, you got Megan on the screen playing <laughs> behind you, which was so cool uh, yeah. from the creator's lounge. I'll have to give her a shout out if she doesn't make it, but let's, uh, let's just start. We're going to do a kind of a little bounce around here to see why you created your podcast and what's your favorite episode, which is really difficult to choose. I understand. Um, anybody want to go first? This is out of the gate. They know which one. If not, I'll call on somebody. I'm good at that. Th this is Shannon, Charlie. I can go if okay, you like. Perfect. Perfect. So I, uh, for those of you who don't know my voice, I host the Empowering Women in, in Podcast, which is sponsored by the wonderful Empowering Women in Industry organization, uh, led by the wonderful Charlie Matthews, who's hosting today. Uh, I didn't start the podcast. I came in on season three, but I the story that I like to tell is Charlie sent me the note. I think it was probably October-ish time frame, and she said, hey, our host uh, is deciding to take a to take a little bit different turn. Do you want to host a podcast? And the story that I tell is I thought she lost her mind. I shut the email down and walked away from the computer. Uh, and then I pushed myself. I think I opened your email, Charlie, at least five or six times and then said, okay, she sees something I don't. So let's just take this leap. And I'm so glad that I did where uh, I guess I'm almost two years in now and, and I really do love it. And I knew you were going to ask me to pick one. I can't, I'm going to narrow it down to two. Okay. Uh, my favorite episode from, from season three was Wendy Goebel. Wendy is my, one of my BFFs. I ended season three with her with a gift of grit and she has it in spades and it was just like girl time, but it was a real girl time talking about how to have grit and, and use that in your personal life, in your career. My favorite one so far from season four is a tough one uh, with Jackie Abrams. So she talks about systemic re racism in the workplace. If you've not listened to it, you need to listen to it and you need to listen, go read her books, Hush Money. I think you'll love both of them. And those are my favorites. They're favorites for different reasons, but I think they're both very impactful. Yeah, Shannon, I'm so glad you said yes. You transformed the podcast. You brought your own flavor to it and your passion for STEM is is just shining through. So I absolutely love it. Um, thank you so much, Scott. I feel like you're ready. So I'm going to call on you. Wait, I, 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 I have my dog here, my here. Uh... <laughs> my boxer's running back and forth. She's always at my feet. And so she was, I was just listening and petting her and just listening to the stories. And it was, it was a lot of fun. And that's why she's here. She's my pod dog. She's I love always it. With me. Well, I, uh, many times I've, I've spoken about this, but uh, I started podcasting as a result of just sort of a marketing platform for my other companies. And, and, and what it turned out to be is a way of really opening doors and creating relationships. So it's a sales and marketing platform how I started out for me. And then you fast forward and, and you realize that there's tremendous stories to be told in the world of industry. I don't care what it is. You can always sort of fold it into how it impacts industries and people in a positive way. And it's global. And, and so me being a discovery channel geek, it was just feeding me with that information and loving it. And, and, and I, I just, uh, and I do, I'll geek out on all this technology and innovation and, and what people are doing, but it always gets down to people, right? It's the technology is the technology, right? It, it's going to happen. And it's, and, uh, uh, it's going to be something that's going to transform our lives, but it's always about people and, uh, how it impacts them. So as for, uh, sort of memorable conversations I've done about 5,000 podcasts. So it's wow. like, eh, that's a tough one. So I'm going to be a little macro on this. I love doing live. I love doing lives at conferences and getting people right there. So when we were at IMTS, I was just digging. I called it uh, technology speed dating. And what it is, is just real people talking about that tech right there, man. That tech is great. And you can tell that they just love it, right? And, and to be able to sort of experience that, that's a lot of fun. And experience people 
um, at these events just continues to galvanize the reasons why, you know, podcasts, videos, media, the need to amplify is so important. So it's just, I, I, I just dig the opportunity to meet all these people and say, Hey, what are you doing? You having a good conference? Hey, that's fantastic. Hey, did you eat here? And just get that human side out there and, and be able to also touch upon their solutions and the, the problems they're solving. So that's sort of, I, I know it's sort of weaselly the way I didn't nail yeah. some people, but I've, you're, you're I, in the right room, Scott. We love it. We absolutely I, love interacting with people, hearing their stories and, and that energy and passion. And excitement. It is. It's just it's, like, it, yeah, it, it, it makes your skin tingle. It's like, yeah, you're cool. Really? You do that? Well, yeah. thinking of the human side uh, and my playlist that Susan made for me uh, in the leadership launch pad. The hu- that human starts my day off, right? That song. And so oh, my uh, favorite. Susan, I- yeah, it's, it's so good. It's so good. I'll I feel go like that next. could be an anthem for our mission here at Team Elite, right? So hello, everybody. I'm Susan Hobson. I'm the founder of Elite High Performance Coaching and the co-host of the Leadership Launchpad Project uh, with my the yin to my yang, Rob Kalvarovsky down there below. We started this uh, mission that we're on in the Leadership 2.0 front uh, right at the start of the pandemic as a response to the magnitude of disruption that our leaders were facing. And we thought, what better way than to get into their bunkers every week, right? Um, curating all the you know, different thought leaders in our world uh, in and around the human centric leadership space. And so I'd have to say, gosh, you're going to make me choose. I love every single one of our shows. We have the most phenomenal guests, uh, including you, Charlie, even on the show yes. twice. You can't so pick me. You can't pick me. But you already told me I can't pick you. So I'd have to say the latest one that we just released this week with Dr. Richard Schwartz. He's the founder of uh, IFS. If anybody's heard of that before, it stands for the Internal Family Systems. It's a form of uh, therapy. And you guys got to check out this show. This guy is absolutely a game changer in and around the space of healing trauma And yeah, he's trying to bring all of his work into the leadership space, which of course Rob and I are all about, right? So we're actually looking at partnering with him and bringing his work into our process with our leaders. And we're very excited about that, right, Rob? Absolutely. And it's funny. So I did my first podcast and Scott was actually the host about. (laughs) No way! Yeah, I forgot to say. Hey, Rob was my favorite, but that was years ago. So that's a- yeah, this was like 2017. We were in Vegas. And I think I said Vegas. to Scott, I was like, oh, I'm thinking about doing a podcast. And I know you probably hear that all the time in Europe. And it was sort of like, oh, yeah, whatever. And then no, I, it's like more the merrier, man. I'll tell yeah. You. And then I started, obviously, I started the maintenance podcast and did about 200 something episodes with them. Um, I think that one just crossed 100,000 downloads. And throughout that one, I kept hearing the same stuff. It was always like the people would come on, world best best in the world, best practice, technology, all this stuff. And they would always say the same two things. Problems are implementation and culture. Always, always. <laughs> And it It took me a while. Makes for a thin book. (laughs) Right? (laughs) (laughs) It took me a while, but then it was was all leadership. Mm -hmm. And that was when I went on the journey with Susan and I dug into my own mindset and I started understanding all these things that we talk about on our show now and that we coach folks on as well. And I'm so glad that you did because look at me now. Oh, uh, <laughs> I was in the creator's lounge. James picked me because I'll let you, you can tell that story, but James, tell us about why you started yours. Oh my gosh. Well, happy international podcasting day. So um, Charlie started this tradition last year, inviting me the first time. And um, so I, I hope this becomes like an annual thing and we can, we can, we can share this day together. So thanks for inviting me. And um, I, I started, you know, so I you start the podcast, you know, for different reasons for like me and my business, you know, and then, it, you know, like 
the audience? Like, what are you trying to do to serve them and, and deliver value? So as far as that part of the equation for me in my business, it was really about, um, you know, just the science of it that, you know, through, you know, podcasting and, and putting out your point of view, interviews, you know, talking head, you can start to build authority and you start to share your expertise and what you know. And, and as we all know, that can lead to great opportunity, you know, for you individually or, you know, through extension as a, you know, representative of your brand or your business. So, so it was truly unapologetically started for business reasons. And, um, but at the same time aligned with our vision, our mission, our cause, our purpose, which is to better those who design, make, and move the world. That's a metaphor for everything that goes into engineering and making things that never existed before, actually making them, manufacturing them, and everything that it takes to go to market, logistics, moving it down the line, you know, you name it. And so um, that that's a big, a big reason. And the and the real focus of our show, the Industrial Strength Marketing Show, is to help uh, industrials make marketing the strength of their business. That's the leader, that's the marketer, that's the seller, and it's everyone, you know, in establishing the um, the the core function of integrated marketing sales and service is a strength of a business is a true distinguishing function and so that's where we focus and we we speak to um we have a bunch of pillars and some of my favorite episodes um are definitely coming from uh, a, a, a pillar of content where we very purposely program a diverse lineup um starting with um women telling the stories of manufa manufacturing and so but you know, I, I love that early one. <laughs> on the show and you're actually our top episode of any of the women we've had in terms of downloads. Um, but we've also had like Christina Fuges from, you know, mold making technology, Carla Trotman. She's a woman black owned business for Electrosoft. Um, oh, my gosh, folks from, you know, the National Association of Manufacturing, mm -hmm. the head of, you know, recruitment marketing at Walmart, you know, Lori Fernell at the time. So um, and, and more. So very intentionally, um, you know, excited about that part of our show. And I think my favorite show was our very first one. And it was with the president of Motion Industries, Randy Bro. And I met him when he was at Baldur years ago. And, you know, you make um, friends in your life's journey. Um, and, and, and the best thing is to have friends in business. And so, um, you know, our history and why that's so special to me is that um, he gave us a shot. You know, we were just in a tiny little 700 square foot office, like not much bigger than this office that I'm, I'm in now, um, this room. And, um, and you know, just coming full circle for folks that have supported you along the way. And he, he said something to me in that episode that was really interesting. He was, you know, James, remember me telling you this, you know, we may not always do business together, but we'll always be friends. Mm -hmm. And I think that's for me what I look for. And, you know, for anyone who's listening in, I have a lot of friends here that I've met, you know, and Charlie and, and Scott, and, and I think we've met before as well on maybe last year's episode and Fabian. Um, and, you know, what I hope is that, because at the end of the day, it's going to be these relationships we've made. So I uh, hope, to, hope to start one with y'all. Uh, love it. Love it. And Fabian is up. So I can't wait to hear uh, from you. Take the mic. Pat. Yeah. Um... I always have to follow those great speeches. <laughs> uh, but no, I mean, you know, why did I start uh, the Other of Snack podcast? You know, I, I work for a company called EOS and uh, within that company, I run the consulting and uh, academy teams. And in the end, what we try to do on a daily basis is educate people around additive manufacturing. Yeah, and you have- uh, I have to, Yeah, I have to show, I have this. Yeah, it's a little it's of part a of the spine. It's like it goes into the spine. The spine. Yeah, correct, correct. Okay. The spinal implants. But you, you know, you got it. But a lot of times when we engage with with people that are looking into three D printing, like, hey, can we print these scissors? And I'm like, yeah, but it doesn't really make any sense. You know, <laughs> and we always have these conversations <laughs> around, you know, what applications and what parts really can benefit from the technology and. You know, at some point I was on a, I think on a, on a hike or something like, you know what, if we had a podcast, I could just send those people to a specific episode and say, you know what, forget about your scissors for a yeah. second, you know, listen to that podcast to this one episode and then call me again. And, uh, you know, that's how the idea was, was born. And 
yeah, we now interview really cool people in the industry who do really cool stuff with additive manufacturing, and I still get inspired every time I talk to them. And uh, yeah, my, my favorite, I really love all the episodes we've done so far, but I'll just pick the last one because it's a really cool technology. We talked to a company called TAE, and they are developing a, uh, a fusion power reactor or known as nuclear fusion. So right now we do nuclear fission. That's what we currently do. And those are those big towers that you see um, that, uh, yeah, are still a little bit uh, critiqued in the world because of the nuclear waste they create. But nuclear fusion doesn't create any nuclear waste. It is unlimited power for the world. And uh, it's been in science fiction movies for quite some time. But with this company, TAE, they're, they're 10 years away from a commercial reactor. And they create this cre reactor that goes up to a billion degrees Celsius. And that's just mind blowing, you know? And they use 3D printing within that reactor to pull out the energy to make sure the whole thing doesn't melt. And um, yeah, that's just inspiring. I love to hear those stories and uh, yeah, still get very excited about it. This is where I would love to get into the interview and say, all right, then what? Then where? How? Oh my gosh. Really? What happens if, you know, D, 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 D. Dude, that would be yeah. cool. And then what exactly. would happen? And then what happened? And then what happened? <laughs> yeah. Well, how can I get one? <laughs> uh, I get uh, yeah. Yeah. That's ex well, I just have these little pieces and I have the shark. I have some, just all kinds of fun stuff at, that you get um, at trade show booths. But I have to say, Bobby, uh, you, you won. EOS won as far as the giveaways there and to get to use a 3D hammer. You know, that was so I cool. Uh, yeah. So just, yeah, side side note there. Uh, these people are cool. I hope y'all check out their podcast. Um, as far as Empowering Industry Podcast, uh, why we started that, uh, I have to give Bethany a shout out. I j actually just got to see her um, two days ago and she's doing great. And, uh, but I miss her so much on the podcast because it's so fun to just have somebody to kind of riff with. Uh, but the other side is, we, we created it because we wanted to, to tell stories. We wanted to share all of these different people that we were meeting, like share their story. And sometimes people don't have enough time to like stop and write, or it's not their skill set about their own story. So it's like, I meet hundreds of people. Right. And I just, every time I'm like, I want somebody else to know about you. And so I am really thankful for Bethany because she uh, said yes to, to helping me get organized, understanding like, okay, this is the script that you need. Here's the, you know, uh, good mic that you might need to get, you know, all the details uh, of putting a podcast together. And then um, she definitely, she was the editor uh, behind and producer behind the scenes uh, to get us started. And so uh, shout out to Bethany. I hope she sees this and knows that I miss her and love her and think that that being a podcaster is the coolest thing ever. So she gave that to me and just, oh, I love it. But my favorite episode actually is Tracy Allen, which Susan and Rob uh, know from the locker room because she like, I found like her passion, like within an episode, she started talking about visiting manufacturing plants. She's in the supply chain over at uh, Nokia right now, but she was, she was talking about kind of entering the industry and going around and all these different plants and getting excited about it. And I could literally feel the energy through the podcast, right. That she was just so jazzed about this. And, and, you know, I just saw her kind of develop after finding that little bit of joy out of that podcast, she just, you know, started doing other podcasts and she started, you know, telling her story. And I'm just like, oh yeah, that's what we want, right? We want to interview somebody <laughs> totally. and, and hear from them and kind of launch them into that next career path or, or, you know, make them a thought leader, let people see them and, and know what they stand for. And so she's just an inspiration for this year. Um, absolutely. That I just, I just can go back to that podcast and listen to it and just be like energized uh, as a, as a woman in industry for sure. But then just somebody who just absolutely loves manufacturing and, um, and, and, and seeing, seeing what's out there in the plant. Um, so I know, I know several of you like that too. And I, yeah, I totally want to meet her, Charlie. Now. Yes. Yes. Oh, you'd love to we'll make her. that absolutely. happen. Yes. Yeah. We can, we can get you in the locker room for sure. Yeah, and, there you go. Um, Sh Shannon, uh, 
on the same kind of note there is um, kind of watching you and your career and, and growing in the podcast, you, you're growing in so many other areas just by doing this. Mm -hmm. So I do encourage yeah. everyone um, to either be on a podcast because that is like that, like um, Rob said earlier, right, with Scott and Scott, you were one of my first being on a podcast. I was, I, I think that just saying yes and, and jumping in and telling a little bit of your story, even if it's not the full story, right, Rob, we, we figure out what, what we're here for a lot later than that first <laughs> version of our stories. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm, I'm thankful for all y'all. I celebrate your work. Um, y'all are, you know, my favorites to listen to, and uh, there's plenty of episodes to go back to. If anybody wants to, you know, catch up, uh, I always love it. Like, okay, what do I need? Uh, some inspiration. Mm, let me just plug in one of these podcasts. This is wonderful. Um, okay. I'll give y'all a little last word. Any, anybody want to say we've got like five more minutes, uh, before your calendar is going to start binging at you, but, um, well, I want to ask a question to you, Charlie. Okay. obviously okay. we're, we're, we're always do this here. Um, or Susan and I always do this is where are you taking the podcast? What's next for you? Yeah. So I think, so this whole year, it's about being intentional. Right. And, um, we next year, right. So I'm taking a break. This is my last recorded like podcast, if you will, for this season. And I'm into trade show season. Uh, but January, 2023, it's going to start with a bang, right. But it's going to be planned out into the year of, okay. Um, how can we really, um, talk about that story and talk about that person in a way that it, it then can connect with their industry, connect with other people's podcast and, and share kind of outside of ourselves, I guess is the best way to describe that is yes. I want to, I want to hear the story personally, <laughs> please tell me and share every detail about your life. Uh, but then I want to connect that with business and connect that with other podcasters. So we have some things coming up with that, where, you know, we can share our podcast and we do a little bit uh, I guess through um, James and, and industrial sharing through all of our podcasts kind of um, so maybe that, maybe that's where that idea came from, but um, you know, sharing with some other people, let's say for in the water, water industry example, uh, if we have a water subject matter expert, why can't we share that podcast in someone else's, you know, that episode or that interview in somebody else's podcast. So um, looking at collaborating and teamwork, you know, that's, that's, I guess that's in, ingrained in me now that I've been in the locker room with you guys so much. Uh, but it's 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 wonderful. You know, we like to collaborate, connect and inform and educate the industry. And how better to do that than collaboratively? So hopefully that answers the question. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to just keep interviewing super cool people uh, that I meet along the way. So, yeah. Like, what's your resolution between this um this international podcasting day and next, right? So, oh. so it sounds like you have oh, a, I love a lot, that. You know, a lot like, going on. And um, like, you know, where should like, I be like next one, year? I'm actually curious. Like, in one word, what what would everyone want to, you know, uh, one or two words? What would you want to accomplish? You know, for me, it's consistency. Um, you know, just keep producing, and in between now and you know next year, we just want to keep improving, uh, improvement and consistency. I, I think amplify, right, Rob? Amplify the ripple yeah, I was effect. Say impact. Amplify the impact. Okay, we'll uh, tag team on that one. <laughs> Shannon, I'm I'm gonna use my tagline. I want to inspire the fire within. That's oh wow, yeah, I love that. Educate. Good one. Really educate. Continue to educate. You know. Scott. I wish I had something like that. I just want to keep on talking and chirping about all the stuff that's happening out there. You guys, you're inspiring, but I don't know how to do that. I, you know, Hey, it, it, you've I, got I, industrial I, talk. It's, it lines up perfectly. Yeah. It, it's, and it's so funny because I'm, I'm always about speed and, and, and getting things out there because I know the, the life expectancy of anything digital starts to wane after about what, two minutes. So you got to keep going. And so I, I, uh, I'm always about, yeah, let's get going. Let's do it. Yeah. Shake your head. But what about, no, no, let's get going. So I, I don't know how else I can, 
I don't want to be structured to a certain extent. I just don't don't put me in a box. Don't make me pick a word. I've got my word. My word is empowering, giving people the yes. power and authority to do something and tell their story. That is what we're going to do. So uh, that's an easy one. I remember, James, at the last day or something, we we're picking different words. And I talked about influence, I think was the word that I chose. And I left there. And I was like, no, it's about empowering others. It's about giving them that. And yes, influence helps, right? Because you can influence somebody into sharing their story. But I want I want to empower people. That's that's it, you know? So y'all are empowering me always. Uh, and so hopefully I'm empowering you. Hopefully people are going to go check out all those podcasts. I'll put some show notes, if you will. I'll put some list of podcasts for everyone so it make it easy for them. But thanks for being here and celebrating with me. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Best 30 minutes Bye of the week. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Amen, sister. I totally yeah. concur.